amazing people i am ayushi rawat and welcome to my channel so in this video tutorial we are going to learn how you can automate instagram whatsapp facebook or any chat messenger of your choice if you are new to my channel please take a moment and consider subscribing press the bell icon so you never miss an update so without further ado let's dive right into the video let's have a look at today's agenda We'll cover the basics of Pi Auto GUI module, and we'll see how you can automate any chat messenger with Python. What is Pi Auto GUI? Pi Auto GUI is a cross-platform GUI automation Python module. It lets your Python script control the mouse and keyboard to automate interactions with other applications. It works on Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. and it runs on python 2 and 3 if you wish to know more about it you can refer to its documentation i'll link everything in the description box below now that you're familiar with our agenda and have acquired basic knowledge of py auto gui module we can move forward to the coding section it's time to code you can find all the code at my youtube projects github repository Drop a star if you find it useful. It's time to install the module. So open your command terminal and use command pip install pyauto gui and hit enter. Since I've already got this installed in my system, it says as requirement already satisfied for me. Once done, we can move forward to a VS Code editor. and let us start by creating a new python file i'll name it as automate chat messenger you can name it anything you like once installed let's import the package in a python environment use command import py auto gui for the same now let's store the data that we wish to use for automation I am calling it as text here. You can name it as anything you like. So let's store text as I love Python. Let's introduce a while loop here. So basically you can send the data stored in text to a desired user unlimited number of times because we have set the condition as true here. To automate, we will make use of typewrite method from Py Auto GUI module. So Py Auto GUI dot typewrite, and let's pass in text as an argument here. So before moving forward, let's test a script. So I'm introducing time here. Import time, and before it executes, time dot sleep. Let's give five here. Now let's save and run our Python script. So I'm opening a Notepad, and I've placed my cursor at the beginning of the Notepad. So if you observe, in every five seconds, the Python script will automatically write "I love Python" at my cursor locations. it will continue doing so unlimited number of times because we have set the condition of while loop as true so let's terminate our program because typewrite function is working let us update the time as 3 seconds instead of 5 next we will call the press method it performs a keyboard press down function followed by a release for each character in the message so py auto gui dot press and here we will pass as enter as our argument so the script will press enter once the text is typed in a chat messenger to provide some margin between the two let's introduce sleep so time dot sleep let's make it as 2 here So basically we are using of time module here because we do not want our script to start off immediate execution. Now let's save and test it out. Next, open a chat messenger in your browser in a new tab. 
so i'm trying out first facebook for you i'll show you live demo of facebook and instagram you can do the same for whatsapp as well or any other chat messenger of your choice once this is done let's run a python script and place the cursor at the point where you want to start your automation execution. So if you observe, Isle of Python is typed and sent because we have given a three seconds interval before it types out and a two second interval before it sends the typed message. This will continue to happen because we have set the condition as true for a while loop. Let's try out the same thing for Instagram. So I'll move my cursor to Instagram now. And if you observe, the same operation is performing here. So if you observe, I love Python is being typed and sent automatically. That's it. We are done. If you wish to limit the number of time the script sends a message to the user, you can do so by modifying the loop. You can customize your code further to perform different actions according to your need. So let's try to limit this now. So let's set counter as 3 and at the end let's decrease the counter. And let's set the condition where counter is greater than 0. Now let's save and run a python script once again. So if you observe initially the counter is set to 3 and a while loop will only execute till a counter is greater than or equals to 0 and at the end of our script at line number 14 we are decrementing the counter by 1 so i'm running my python script once again and switching to my browser so if you observe it will only type i love python three times and press enter and the execution will stop right here. The reason why you can see two I love Python in one row because I terminated the script here and it could not press enter at that moment. And if we switch back to our VS Code editor, that's exactly what has happened. You can play around with PyAutoGui library and even explore more features. Simple, isn't it? Hope this tutorial has helped you. This is my 29th video in Python Projects playlist. I would strongly recommend you to check out the other video tutorials. You can find out all the code at my YouTube Projects GitHub repository. Also, I have recently curated a list of all Python resources in Ultimate Python Resource Hub repository. Here, you can find all Python books, newsletter, podcasts, etc. over here from table of contents. Drop a star if you find it useful. If you got something to add, raise a PR. If you want a step-by-step -step guide of the video tutorial, you can find at my blogging website. I'll link everything in the description box below. Join my Telegram channel and Discord server for regular updates and to connect with peers and fellow developers to make new connections and help improve your coding skills. Connect with me at Twitter my handle goes by ayushi 7 rawat linkedin and other social platforms i'll attach the link in the description box below please like and share this video with your friends and connections who are interested in learning python which will encourage me to make more such videos drop your suggestions in the comment box below if you want me to make a video on a particular topic share your feedback with me which will help me improve my next video I will be back with more such videos. Till then, have a great day. Take care. Thank you for watching.